this up now in their favour. And we're into 08 says, ladies and gentlemen. It'll actually be Marvel on the Sigma here, or a Super Smurf. It's going to be Hog and Ball. I think you have the Sigma in play to help a little bit with the Tracer that's going to come out from Striker. So uh, we saw how Striker was able to deal with Fleta, our Overwatch League MVP, and the Tracer head to head. Uh, this though, Profit on the Hanzo. He can definitely take out Striker if he gets a little bit too close. That'll be Bits taking out Smurf early on as Smurf was going in trying to disrupt. It looks like he actually got a hit with a Sleep Dart there. And they're able to deal with it. Creative on that Ana pick. It's a very Asia style pick in that flex support role. He has been terrorizing his opponents so far. And even with how durable Wrecking Ball is, a Sleep Dart makes him too vulnerable. And Soul Star with control of the point. Jester tries to go for a hook on Smurf but takes a lot of damage to pay for his hubris. And the shot pushing onto the point here so much so that the Dynasty had to play around Marvel's shields. Yeah, they just need to back up Soul Dynasty. They need to heal up the tanks. They were both a little bit low. Now they can get back on and contest this. You do have a nano boost in play. They're gonna throw it on his gesture. And look at this, just the, the ability that he can do here, Mitch. Oh he, my. He's gonna get a hook here on his super, but just the threat of him with the nano boost, and they know that his hook is active. They have to avoid, get away from the point. They're still not able to get super out in time. Striker brought back into the fight. There is Prophet is knocked into the drink, but Gesture once more is looking for a way to forge his own fortune. Planks looks for a hook, but he finds a whole hog on towards Smurf there. Another fight that begins with San Francisco down. A player fits, gets the drop on towards Arts here. Oh, when he comes up second best, the Striker accosts him from behind. Marvel's hit within this corner with a point in the transcendence there. Keeps the shot popped up going into this fight. Creative force foul of a headshot from Violet. Striker has a pulse bomb that he doesn't need to use. You should be a the back line. You win another fight for cheap here for San Francisco. You're going to get above the percentage that Soul Dynasty has. Three final blows already for Striker, living up to the hype provided for him. But Violet goes down early. It's a damage boost from Fitz that gets him across the line. This has to be a resurrect from Moth. He's able to do it safely. Striker definitely dodges the sleep dart coming at him from Creative. It still has that pulse bomb ready to go. But Violet again falls. There's the trade. Moth goes for the blast and he gets the better of Profit. And just you fall. Super fights the headshot with a scrap gun. And there's a damage boost to boot. All the resources required, given the super to get that big kill. San Francisco, man, they do what you ask for them. They get a second clean fight win. Maybe you can use the bar in task point. I know, put some point pressure on, get the nano boost on the gesture yet again, and just let him take space, allow you to get some of this high ground control. Tentatively profit. Tries to take position here on top of the T. Looking for the Zinyard of the one. Violet has to know he's being hunted right now. That's a Storm Arrow headshot. And Violet's forced out of line of sight. Bob takes down Smurf and Jester's on the point to deal with Super. This will be Sol rapidly back in the driver's seat. I see Hanzo obviously able to wall climb, right? Can take some of this uh, just some of his own ability. Like Prop gets hit with a dynamite there, and they're going to use a shield to get in front of him, but Arms is able to take out Dangerous. with the help of a damage boost. Dangerous res from, from Toby there. Striker's able to take him down as he attempts to bring Fitz back into the fight. And this may well be a quick flip back in favor of the shot, but course by Toby. Eventually, the ladder is taken down. San Francisco prevented early round end. The shock here, they'll load it up, Mitch. They're gonna have a Bob, double support ults, minefield. They're in a perfect position to take this first point. Gravitic Flux is available for Marble. That could throw a spanner in the works. He's gonna let it go early. First drop the minefield from the front of Jester, but he's able to dodge out on most of it. Marble a little bit low, and Bob comes charging straight at him, bustling as he goes about his business. Jester falling to Smurf on the point now, and Arthur's looking for a shot on Fitz, who's cannily keeping his head down, but the dynamite will give him a bit of a freeze problem. He'll be knocked off the edge now as Smurf tries to get to the high ground. He cannot interrupt the Resurrect on Marvel, though. Prophet is down. Arth playing from a safe angle now, and here's the roll towards Marvel once more. The Pulse Bomb safe for Creative finds its mark, and now we're at 99 to 99, and the Dynasty are low on players. San Francisco strike back from behind in round one, and Oasis is already. Off to the races. Batista, uh, potentially thinking Soul would try and go maybe over towards the Farah pick. Uh, they, they've done that before. Soul Dynasty go with the Farah. And again, said the San Francisco Shock have answered you know, using Violet on the Batiste. They don't come out though. They play the Hanzo yet again here against the Tracer pick. Perhaps Violet anticipating, uh, yeah, something a little bit different from Prophet. The Batiste has definitely been something that only he has really gone for. Violet can play is it off DPS, once, especially once he gets an amplification matrix online, and that's a big chunk of damage on towards Marvel. Really putting pressure on the healing resources of Soul as Smurf is able to deal with Fitz and then slink away with the shielding of that adaptive barrier.
but just look at how much pressure they're putting on the supports here. Smurf in strength. Oh, boy. Just get going up to the high ground and just getting these hits. And, and there's no protection there. Uh, Toby's going to have to fly in here just to kind of contest Guardian Angel for the teammate, but uh, no chance for a res. Really clean fight here for the San Francisco Shock. So what Super was able to do late in that fight, Matt, he is eight final blows to two deaths. And we're talking about Gesture being a prolific finder of kills. He's only found three so far. Super is outstripping him in a big way. But that is just, that's preposterous. Profit finds a headshot from around the corner. Stays quite comfortably Smurf away from him. He's always there when they need an answer, Profit. They will pick up two, even when the Ant Matrix is dropped. Shot into Ants. Fitz will finish it off as Soul move in, try and take the point back. It is not even they're gonna flip this though. This point is really easy to contest. Yeah, San Francisco wanna stall it out as long as possibly. Have a Valkyrie in play here for Bob, but he's thinking about pulling the blaster. I saw him eyeing Fitz off like a bit of a snack. He thinks better of it though, and now that uh, the body grenade is thrown to the San Francisco shock. Super cannot stay alive, and Smurf gets hit with an accretion. Super will be resurrected, and that is a lot of help for back onto the battlefield. The same is done for Jesu, though, and the numbers still favor the Soul Dynasty, but for how long? Arms finds a big headshot on Marvel, and Jesu, despite having uh, plenty of support here from the Nano Boost, loses the main healer in creative, and this whole hog would be suicidal to use. Uh, Arms with two, Striker with another, Striker into the back line, takes out Toby. This is looking really good for San Francisco. This is about as good of a start they could have had. Devastating for Soul Dynasty to have lost that fight despite starting so far ahead. Hans, incredibly wary of uh, threats from all directions here. And Smurf runs into a target he'd much rather leave in his dust. Tries to get away, but he can't. Jester found him with a hook, and that's the Dynasty beginning this fight with a player advantage. Jester had that whole hog he saved from earlier now. Fermented, mature to perfection. He almost gets run down awfully fast. Striker gets an uncanny amount of shots on towards his head. He's forced away. Here's the gravitic flux on Marvel now as he's looking for support. I dare say, but Prophet, he gets come down. Striker finds him with a discord all from Vita. Really helps get the work done. And that's a pulse bomb throwing in by Striker once more. Now Jesse goes for the whole hog with him. Lost Marvel. There has to be a desperate resurrect here from Tony. But he's taken down just after. Creative may be back in the fight, but it's not going to be enough. And the San Francisco. Turn up in a sensational way in map number one. We would like to set a teleport around the front here, but if we see him stick to Arns, what does this say, Matt? Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get the TP out. They're gonna try and get this high. Ground. Now, now you'll see him go back and switch off of this. So uh, this gets San Francisco into a pretty advantageous position. They know though that Arns is back in the spawn. Uh, they're just trying to get this high ground. Bully fits out of position. Marvel's been also shifted from his initial spot and the San Francisco shot have been out to pull up a little bit of a dosing oh and that caught Marvel on the low ground this is the disaster for Seoul arguably the most durable the centerpiece of their team the signal's been taken out and gesture followed right after they've got support and DPS and not much more Matt and this is such a good strategy for the San Francisco shop. You get control of the high ground as fast as possible. Then Ans comes back on the Widow. It puts Fitz in a horrible position. He doesn't have control of the sight line of the point anymore because he's been pushed, pushed so far back. Uh, and that the tanks can't really go and contest. You have the Hanzo damage coming up from Striker. Really great strategy from San Francisco early on. Well, what's brilliant about that is that Soul felt dumb. They just couldn't see where the teleporter was. That answer actually placed down just to check the choke and saw nothing. The Dynasty couldn't help but be caught by surprise by such a strange tactic. And it goes from bad to worse. Jester gets hooked in and the Discord Orb is liberally applied to his forehead. Violet is traded out, but they get rid of Profit now in San Francisco. They are just riding this chaos as much as they can. A kill there on Marvel is big, but a resurrect on Profit may shift the momentum back. Talking a uh, considerable amount of shield plus that health. So, as far as the effective health points you brought back into the game, it's higher value than a Hanzo Resurrect. Profit though, little flank, fight strike. It's going to be an instant resurrect here. Gravitic Flux to try and bait out those that were resing. The fighter has a transcendence ready to fire off. And the shot, a brief rest, and now they're back on the road once more. The creation words overhead for Joey Hogan, but he gets rid of Marvel, who went down below half health while he was suspended in midair. Super low, it's an electric looking gesture in his face, but the dynasty couldn't touch the cards. This is not how Soul want this map to be going. The shot in five minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. That is preposterous. 
And to be honest, when the Gravitic Flux comes through from Choi, they also end up using a Dragon Strike, but Striker ends up using it so early that it doesn't really connect and do a ton of damage. That could have been just way cleaner for San Francisco. Fits the headshot there on the Striker. They'll take him out. They're trying to use a Dragon. They want this kill to last, but be a Valkyrie from Mom trying to keep everybody up. Jester trying to wrap around the side here and slow the shock down with an instant pick and again Mock. Oh, the audacity of him! Answers able to find the headshot on Prophet, almost like Mock baited Prophet out into that challenge. Now Striker steps up after Prophet is brought back into the fight. And that high ground control remains with the shock for now. Both teams have infrasight pop right now, so... Lots of vision, they know exactly where they're at. It's Prophet just trying to get a pick here. Sonic Arrow to make sure he doesn't get pushed. It'll be Ox taking out Fitz here. No way. Oh, okay. Super eventually gets taken down. He was slipping the hit with a biotic grenade, and the Dragon Strike doesn't create enough space for the shock to get him out. So they resurrect him instead. The high ground duel is still going. Prophet's hit with a wayward arrow as he's forced to drop down now. And from that right hand side, you can see Trick Urban looking for an accretion. Gravitic flux, but creative's down. That's the light. It's here. Healing available to the Soul Dynasty. He has to be brought back into the fire, and he is, but the Dynasty is still playing with five. Hans with two. Striker up on the high ground. Big hook there from Gesture. That Soul Dynasty seems to have control of the cut. They'll have a nano boost here. Whole Hog and Valkyrie as Fitz comes alive and takes out on. Says, oh, you do have this transcendence, Mitch, with no, uh, with no uh, Gravitic Flux on the other side. You can probably use it a little bit more aggressively. Trick Urban's also close to a Gravitic Flux in his own. Super's put to sleep. Dragon Strike attempted to take his life. The transcendence was there from Violet once more, right on time. He has the goods. And now the entire of the shock is going to cost Jetra in that left hand corner. Somehow Toby has to try and keep the card stored and keep Marvel alive at the same time. Multitasking at his finest, but Prophet, the lone sniper, returns. He goes for a wide flank and finds three, putting them in the ground. And San Francisco run out of gas once more. But it's Prophet really coming up cash money. And it feels like Soul Dynasty on this point, Mitch, they, they've held for an eternity already. It feels like we've spent most of the time here uh, going to point C. And there's still a ton of time on the clock. But you see that as soon as the shock give an opening, a player like Prophet exploits it to its absolute fullest. That was honestly inconceivable the way he was able to save his team in that Unreal. moment. And now it's buoyed forward by confidence after that fight. Wimber Arts finds the headshot. That's an instant resurrected. Dragon Strike was still loose. And Choi is looking worse for wear. Violet actually goes down to the Dragon Strike himself, only to be resurrected into, yes, a lot more oncoming fire. Striker's able to find profit, but it's the supports of the shock that are beleaguered. And the rest of San Francisco need a sidebar again and regroup. So you'll have a dragon for San Francisco. Uh, you'll also have the Transcendence. You'll have Transcendence for Gravitic Flux. Uh, but Soul Dynasty starting to rally off a few holds here. Uh, I tell you what, uh, although it's out for as bad as they've looked uh, for point A and point B, if Soul gets a hold here, that is a huge swing in momentum. This is how you win a map that starts so poorly, Matt. This is really running towards the final moments. Answers brought back into the fight now, and the Dynasty are down to four players. Toby has popped the Valkyrie and will be looking for a resurrect, but there's no bodies to safely bring back into the fight, and they keep piling up one after another. Arn's getting rid of Prophet, and you can see the damage boost of Fitz playing from the high ground, but he can't really contest in his current state, and Striker challenges him anyway. Jess is hooked instantly. The Discord all helps a lot. Here it is. The whole hog keeps him up, and Gesture is held aloft, tantalizingly close to the card, but he can't contest. San Francisco finish the attacking round. Let's see how Arn plays this, though. Like, uh, how I mentioned, they were able to force Fitz off of that high ground, and he wasn't able to just kind of dominate the point, just control from these types of angles. See, Soul Dynasty, look, they go underneath, so they're not going to try and take this angle away by forcing it to high ground. It looks like at least early on, they're going to go and try and underneath and deny any line of sight. San Francisco give a lot of space, and Arns has no idea who's behind him, but Prophet, he missed the shots, and now the rest what? of the shots have come to the rescue of Arns. Toby goes down as Arns somehow bangs off a damage boost and body shot, oh, and Violet's there no. to deal with Prophet and Matt. The Dynasty, sometimes the best laid plans go to waste, and that one, that one fell apart. Rotated Striker up to the high ground as well, though, so Jester will have his hands full. But more than just the Widowmaker, Hanzo definitely a little bit more lethal to him as the Storm Arrows let him rack off one after another. He's controlled the high ground now, though, that's huge. That forces the shock back into this choke, man. Jester has the run of the whole barn up there. The no pilot gets rid of it! The Discord will blows him up, man! Uh, it's just a, 
uh, you know, Violet is a flex support, whether it's on the Zen or the Batiste, just the extra damage he's able to put down is huge. Wait. You know, you have an Ana there, you're not able to burst down a Roadhog, right? Uh, but when you're playing the Zed, it's much different. He has more damage than Super right now, does Violet. I mean, by a decent amount. He is functioning, we, we talked about Roadhog, Matt, functioning as another damage dealer. I mean, Violet is doing just that. Doesn't matter if it's Batiste, Zed, Ana, he's stepping up. Uh, you know, put out just damage that way. You look at the numbers, like, almost doesn't make any sense from the Batiste in the Zen position. Uh, Fitz will use the Infrasight here. That's the shot. Uh, that's a risky challenge, but you know he has the walls. And still, the San Francisco shot strike back. It looked like a good to collect some trick over to begin the fight. Strike, it does go down, but Arms brought back, so the shock a little bit limping here, lacking one player. Still in a strong position now, the Dragon Strike will force Trikobin and Bok to part briefly, and you can see at the top of screen, Strike is scrambling to get back to contest this point. You know, the whole hog here, though, for San Francisco. Knock players back. His soul under a minute here on point A. Another duel brewing between Arms and Fitz here, but Trick opens the one to fall first. The Gravitic Flux strikes true for Marvel, and Violet hit with a Bionic Grenade. Super now in trouble. Drawn in for a big bear hug. It actually comes out on top. There's no way San Francisco can be turning that around. Arms versus Marvel, but Strike has it off angle here. He It'll be the walls here from Fitz, just trying to get an angle, the nice of these players coming out of spawn, but the damage may already been done. San Francisco's gonna get another fight, and Violet takes profit out. That's not the way you want to start this fight at all. The resurrect would have to happen. Trichovic goes down to the whole hog of gesture, and Super has to lay low with that biotic grenade on him, but Fitz has fallen again. They keep going down the dynasty, need to find a way to search for the point, but Arthur's brought back into the fight too. Now it's gesture and marble, huddling close for comfort to the try and capture this point. They get Super, what a critical hook. Jester with the no boost now, and he can save up most of the Dragon Strike damage. He looking, he's just looking to stand on the point right now and try and get this one under Soul's control. Prophet also comes in, the reinforcements for the Dynasty outnumbered the Shock. They have the numbers, and now they have the payload. Oh, that is so close, though. I mean, it, it's just a common. Looks like they set up a poison mine, so it's likely Fitz is aware that there was some sort of flank in the works. No ults here for San Francisco, just the Valkyrie. Super select right now, Jester on a big old flank here. Will they be ready for the road? Hawk it's a double fighting grenade here from Creative, another big one, and Super can't take a breather. Does not look like they're going to be able to contest. Marvel gets down front, puts down some damage, denies any chance of that for San Francisco. Nightmare. Now if you're the shock, and now if you're the shock though, you got to push forward, Mitch. You got to get a little bit closer here, play enough front defense. A nightmare start to the round for the Dynasty, but now they're back in a position where they can really threaten San Francisco's time bank. Super sheepishly then just ducks down towards the right as the Widow shot the Wiz overhead and he's going to wrap around briefly. Dragon Strike, there are a lot of Solar playing inside their right hand side room and they catch Gesture out. Another sleep down, but there's no capitalization and Dynasty will be finally sent back to spawn. They built some good momentum. You, you win a fight like that for San Francisco, we're looking at the Soul Dynasty with a cart in this type of position with like 40 seconds on the clock to win the map. So much to play for here for the Dynasty. Going to half time, 0-2 down in a first of four. It would be a disaster. They lose gesture early on, but that's the trade. Prophet's able to find Super, both Roadhogs taking a lot of damage. Mock goes down, he was punished for going for the Resurrection. They can't even put the car progress on right now. They have, they know Jester's coming on this flank too, does the shock. They have to use an Anna boost on him. He gets a breather out of his, uh, out of taking the breather. That keeps Jester alive though, and he has an, oh my god. He has a whole hog here, and Arns almost found himself on the wrong side of that scrap gun. Here comes the Gravitic Flux, and Arns is not able to get out of it here. He will be healed up by Moth, and Violet has a transcendent on the ground. 15 seconds left of the round, and the Dragon Strike, and it gets eaten by Marvel Kinetic Grass. That's a huge advantage for the Dynasty, but can they press it further? Prophet goes down, Striker him off to the top of your screen, folding back into their sport, and Super interrupts the increase from Marvel. He goes down, the San Francisco shot for the players now, and Toby can do nothing but try and push the card on its own. That, sadly, is just not going to cut it. A San Francisco shock. Have the Dynasty reeling two maps to zero. Uh, they're going to have to take a different route. They may have wanted to play on the point, but obviously not anymore. So Fitz heads back to spawn. The rest of his team does get teleported. This is reminiscent of what San Francisco tried on King's Road. It gets the Dynasty in a more commanding position and allows them to cross the gap without taking all this poke damage from Arns and especially Striker. 
I was going to say, a big difference here is Stryker's playing Ash here instead of Hanzo. So two really long range hit scan. They can, they can just kind of take different angles, cross fire each other. Uh, be very difficult even for the Widowmaker because uh, the sight lines here on Hanamura for fit, uh, it kind of plays into the Ash's effective range. Striker there, getting pressure, he's forced out of line of sight, but Jester doesn't go anywhere from that corner. He has to wait for a chance to get out, and he is denied it. Violet I mean, claims him again and continuing to be that DPS, the only player with final blows on the San Francisco Sock right now, until Super. And he was putting pressure on the choke the entire time. Uh, like the desk has talked about, I think uh, one of, if not the biggest difference in the series so far, has been super, uh, you know, whether it's shutting down Gesture or just causing a lot of havoc. He's almost playing how Gesture was playing, uh, right? We're going on these like flanks, but uh, also being a little bit more careful as there's still players here for Soul Dynasty. So Marvel will be on the point. Fitz has a very obscure angle here, but with Super going down, the Dynasty might have chance yes, to push all their plays here onto the points. Jess is in a really commanding flank position, but can't interact presently with Violet, who's in transcendent. Still, the hook on the bottle will do the job, but even the healing from Violet is not going to be enough to keep the Mercy alive. What do the Dynasty do with this information? Arns has found a big headshot on Super. Proper tried to capitalize, playing from the other side. Two sides of the same pincer for the Dynasty, but neither had drawn blood. That's aggressive from Prophet. He dies forward. Is he in a position to pressure Striker back? That Sonic Arrow is going to give him the information, but no position to go for it. Jester, though, he's right in spawn. And they've used Valkyrie and Nano here. This will be transcendent out of the spawn here for Violet. So it's almost two ticks for Soul Dynasty. It'll be Gravitic Flux up in the sky, taking out Gesture. Marvel will fall, but uh, if you have some progress made for the Soul Dynasty, uh, a lot to use just to get in. And uh, on a map like this, Mitch, right, it, it makes it even harder, I think, for Gesture. You have to go to the high ground of the Dynasty. I mean, yeah, he he has to. Uh, if you go if you go main, you're almost certain to get Discord and then just kind of shot from the high ground at multiple angles. He's going to try it here. Look at this. Already just takes oh. a shot, has to drop down. Or maybe he wanted to. This actually allows him to access the left-hand side of this last temple area without jumping over an uncrossable gap. Gesture gets super. The little flank around maneuver finally pays off, and Violet has also gone down. San Francisco will have players coming back into formation now, and Mock hasn't used that Resurrect yet. He may have to now, though. Strike has been removed. That's the Valkyrie for Mock being used. Two ticks here for the Dynasty match. Yeah, Moth has to just fly onto the point, try and get a contest as the Violet takes out Gesture on the point of Super just sleeping here. But look at this, Violet just taking out the tanks in his back line. First takes out Gesture, then takes out Marvel. As Violet has had an unbelievable impact on the Zenyatta. He currently sits at six final blows. Ah, mate, it's seven! This guy is absolutely out of his mind! Above and beyond the Call of Duty goes Violet. He tweeted earlier today on social media and added a picture of himself with like those red Terminator eyes that said, I have to win, I have to win, I have to win. That is hunger. But that was just talk. In game, that yeah. hunger is now personified. Reasonable time bank has dwindled to less than one minute. The upside for them is that they have some big ultimates to leverage here. They're going to get in a position where they have to play down the point. And this Gravitic Punch plus Transcendence is going to be huge. One tick though, that's all Jensen needs. He tries the whole hog with Super again. Ruins his day. He can't escape, despite the fact that he's being killed by Toby. Arns is able to cut him down to size. Marvel sets up on the point now, but Fitz just disintegrates under scrutiny of Violet. It's another harm the orb. And Striker can sit on the point now. Marvel's so low. Arns has a perfect angle for this, but there aren't any players for the shock on the ground. And the Dynasty, fantastic comeback to work their way through. You play Violet on the Batiste, but you also do, you also ditch the Roadhog here. And you play the Wrecking Ball <laughs> and the Tracer. The uh, Super Bowl. Just, it, it, instead of, instead of fighting at the choke, right? Just, just get on and just put pressure on the back line. Uh, try and make this bar uh, almost useless. And if Striker and Super can get hit in the back and get some pickoffs, it, it makes the bar as, uh, very difficult to make a huge impact. This setup, though, for Soul is incredibly impressive. You can see how safe and proper can rain those pockets down. Uh, Hans tanks out That's the huge. Mercy, though. So they don't have a Mercy coming into this next fight. San Francisco have a little bit of a window here. Now, Striker behind anyone to pick on a creative here would be enormous. 
hunting for creative he also sees the power of profit close by he tries for creative maybe attempting to bait out the biotic grenade and he does creative has to self heal he can he can go hunt to, uh, Toby off spawn now. Creative getting harassed still, and here comes Super! Roll straight on through. Striker finds that kill, but it's traded. Super eventually it's gonna have to get out here, but that's one tick already on the point. And look at this displacement. Soul is being forced away from the point, but they bring Creative back, and they're ready. They're pretty good, and they want to fight. Yes, that'll be a bomb. Little point here from Fitz. It'll be an Ant Matrix drop from Violet. Oh, beautiful hook there from Gesture. That could be huge. And it is super taken out of the fight now. The Dynasty had to use a bit in that fight, but it goes down to Striker. A huge pick for the Tracer, who's been lurking for most of the fight. Nars is brought back into the fray. Marvel trying to desperately protect Toby, the lifeblood of this Dynasty roster. And Arts has gone down. Jester has to return to the point here, but Super rolls on in, gets a pile driver and creation from Marvel to try and slow the ball down. And here's the whole hot from Jester. Bionic grenade on Super makes this one really good. He'll have to take a breather before he returns to the fight. But San Francisco, they're not done here. They're going to keep trying to apply some pressure. Yeah, Super will go off. He'll get a health pack. He'll come back. And he'll have a minefield to drop in the point. Minefield plus like a self-destruct. Good enough to clear this out. Dynasty Orphans considered in a decent spot right now. Great accretion across the map by Marvel. Arts has to be resurrected here. Super once again, a four-way towards the point. The Wrecking Ball in the past, a butt of jokes on his stream now. It may be the secret weapon to get the shock across the line. It's tight over. That's an environmental kill on Fitz. He's knocked off of the clip. And he'll have uh, plenty of time to think about what has happened as the shot converge on point A, Matt. They'll capture it and they'll have a fairly healthy time bank with 4 minutes, 16 seconds. Uh, they have to be careful, they can't let Gesture come alive. Profit, playing quite far forward there, he's met with the defense matrix of Troy Govan on that Diva. Hero on which he has previously soared to great heights in and out of game. Answer with the accretion. Oh, the one two punch is nasty. The profit is traded out elsewhere. Here's a gravitic flux that Trigo can't do much about. He'll have to self destruct to replace. Oh, no! Fitz goes down. Trigo just went on a shiny new mech and instead he's getting the scalp of Fitz. Jess is going to be forced off a point now. The micro rockets get the job done and Strike has a big old bomb for Marvel. Jester tries to go for the whole hog. Much of it is nullified by the defense matrix. But he receives a friendly biotic grenade and he gets a big old hook on the striker. He'll be knocked off the point now on the shocker, fairly close to that second tick, but Prophet has returned to the fray. Ooh, he loaded up a, uh, a Batiste jump with the exo jump. It looked like uh, it did not go off when he fell off the side or he made it just hit the roof a little bit, clipped it. Uh, so unfortunate. We'll see though, uh, Ant Matrix plus the Ash set up on the high ground here. We'll see if they're able to push Soul Dynasty out of this position. Uh, this is also one where Jester has been able to get these big hooks. And, okay, uh, there it is. The Immortality Field thrown down by Violet. It's able at least to allow them to get a trade. Toby's the only support for the Dynasty alive right now, but he gives Jester a nano boost. So, a shock. Very wary of this. Strike is looking for fits on the point. Just a little bit more damage, and yes, Toby was too far afield. Now they'll bring in this end. They'll bring in the Roadhog here for the final push. Prophet thinking about that Dragon Strike. He's got information now. He sees the shock. Into the high ground for the last push of this map. Soul trying to get one on the board here. Gravitic Flux is going to make a pretty nasty provider who's dropped down. And Prophet meets up with the Dragon Strike. There's nothing San Francisco can do. Prophet will sit pretty up on that high ground now. And fits easily. Dispatches Striker. Or under five seconds left, and the shock don't have the players to touch the point here. Whole hop to secure it, and the Soul Dynasty fight back. The venerable Tigers finally bear their fangs. Biggest difference all series long, though, has been Violet Zed, and the extra damage is provided. Also, the punishment on the gesture with the Discord Orb. So that'll be a early pickoff from Striker here on the fit. I custom mentioned it on, on the desk sort of before the game is that we were expecting the Widowmakers to really make headlines in this metagame, but it's been the Hanzos to find the lion's share of these kills in so many of these maps. Prophet, Striker, both of them move around the map so much, but that's a Widow on Hanzo actually favoring the shot. Well, look at this. I mean, uh, the striker of the 60% on his ultimate, Prophet at 15, uh, on 60% fits now, you know, jumps up a little bit, but the amount of damage coming out from the Shock Snipers, being able to control the high ground with the Gibraltar is at the start, it's been pretty difficult for Soul Dynasty to even get, like, a, what you kind of traditionally call a team fight. If you don't have the health bars, you'll see that, you know, both fits and Prophet take a couple glancing blows there. It's enough to be healed up, but it still slows the Dynasty down. That's an accretion connection on Strike, but that's not where he's set up. He's just safe. Gonna be healed up now, but came back into position. It's a trade, though. Jester goes down, and a resurrects here. 
That is a risky res for the group they bring. No, they don't. Shogun so shuts him down. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, that is a much better trade. Like, you'll give up your Hanzo to take out the other team's Roadhog and you cannot get the res. Uh, Toby in a difficult position knows he needs to try and bring back Gesture, but uh, not in a position to do so. And now Fitz, he'll win the Widowmaker battle. See if they can get anything out of it, though. Well, Toby has just rejoined them, so that's also plenty of time for Ant to uh, reinforce. You can see him through the door in wireframe returning. Infrasight is active, though, so Fitz will see exactly where Ant comes from and will be able to set up in advance. Crockett gets rid of Violet there as well. Information is key, and the Dynasty are using all of it to its fullest now. Super's able to get a trade against Jester on the car, which is impressive in and of itself. May not mean too much as the shot kind of dashed. Yeah, it was like Choi off to the side, I believe, with Violet. Uh, now you'll have Mon, he'll die at the hands. Gesture on the Wrecking Ball, we're not something we've seen so far this year as he tries to challenge Arntz out there, but somehow Arntz is able to find profit despite facing the scrutiny of the enemy main tank. That's a perfect clutch that uh, the Dynasty would sooner forget about. Super and Arntz capitalized there on the fact that everyone is thrown to the ground. And yes, the shot almost giving away that point, but they hold with three, and it's a big pick from Arntz to start things off. Uh, yeah, Arntz here kind of spells that. Real bad trouble for your team, and oh, since they mentioned that striker with the damage boost takes out Marble, they'll be able to get a res though. Yeah, it's not just who dies, Matt, but where. In that case, it was a safe position that Toby could bring Marble back into the fight, kind of, and just scroll over that mistake that was made. Violet forced a gesture there, who seems to have gone far afield to try and find the kills, and Super is dealing with players at multiple angles. Prop for a moment, studies Trick Urban, trying to find his head, but he didn't need to. Gesture again, steps up when it counts, and the Dynasty, at risk of Running out of gas right there and then. Now, they're starting to build ahead of steam. And you can actually see Violet. Uh, obviously, we have the ability to see the X-ray. Uh, Fitz is not, but he's just stuck in a really bad spot behind a wall. Gesture's able to get that pick off. Uh, not able to even use a transcendence there. Now, what could have been a final fight. So, uh, Marvel early on. He'll use the Gravitic Flux, and I like this use early on. You know you guarantee a kill. This will buy you a lot of cart progress. There's a real intangible risk here that the shock just get completely shoved out of this part of the map. Attackers have a big advantage here, and if they can move up like Prophet has done, it's so lethal for the shock to pick any of these four doorways. They have to filter in one by one. Super there's with a Bionic Grenade. Creative, fantastic play. Not only keeps Marvel topped up, but makes it impossible for Super to, to heal himself. In last map, the shock, I uh, know they committed to that composition there for it is. way too long. This map, uh, you saw Dynasty, they take that checkpoint B. A shot. Need to just uh, need to stabilize here. They need to get a pick. They need to get some type of defense going as uh, Soul Dynasty is starting to hit a stride on offense. Right now, Prophet looking to get in position. We catch Arm by surprise, and he's done so. He drops over the top of the tank there, and he finds him as a Sonic Arrow intended just for information, but he'll take the headshot happily. Gesture there puts Violet in such a compromising position. He has to stay behind that stack of boxes. Super himself has to go deep into enemy territory and try and slow the cart down. It works, but not for long. Yeah, so they don't make any cart progress out of this. Uh, we'll see those if it hangs on. This so will be a transcendence used uh, from Violet, who's out of the spawn. I think trying to get Choi up is uh, they'll end up using the transcendence to get a res on the striker. Yeah, again, San Francisco compromising position for them. The dynasty have had uh, pretty much the run of the place ever since that first checkpoint was taken. That's a kill that could slow the momentum down, though. Marvel. Held aloft and Super drags him on in for a bear hug. Gesture now has to back away here, but still threat for Prophet. Dodges the hook, definitely is able to get out. There's still the risk of Gesture here on this left hand side, but Striker wants to forge ahead. They see they're getting aggressive, pushing them back, needs to buy themselves space here. Soul Dynasty still has some time to work, but they'll lose creative. Uh, they lose gesture as creative, but you're still gonna have to wait. Uh, you do have the nano boost, you can be able to use the nano boost on a gesture. Oh my! Oh, Striker just goes over the wall trying to get a shot. That's too dangerous to race, but. Yeah, no, absolutely. You'll wait for him to come off the spawn. Uh, no reason to try and res in that position, but a lot of ultimates for Soul Dynasty here to try and push it over the line. Look where Prophet gets to play now. He's playing on that upper bridge after that pick. This is much more aggressive than he otherwise would have been. He found the first killer, was it? He got it. Gravitic Flux from Marvel goes over the top, he catches Violet again. This is dangerous now for the Zenyatta, Violet needs to try and stay alive. Prophet wants to push him to the right hand side as well. That's a big hook from Choi Yeoman, and he's for dinner. As Jester cleans him up now, gets himself a nano boost. The whole hot combo pins Super up against the wall, and that card is sailing on home. It's going to be a, some stall attempts here, but it is really a token effort. That's the shock. Uh, finally stopped the dynasty.
Profit is a very good Genji. Uh, you can put a little bit more pressure onto the back line. Uh, you can also play around Nano Blades. All right. I uh, get the Transcendent Talent from Violet. Uh, get you know, more value out of your Gravitic Flux. Uh, still, it's just a, a little bit odder considering how dominant the double uh, double Slaver has been. It's uh, Strike will be on the Ash, so uh, not playing the Hanzo here either. The Dynasty find another way to get value out of Creative's Nano Boost outside of just a damage reduction for Gesture or an extra uh, boost to his whole hog damage. Nice moved up. Close to the end of the underpass now, and it's got a pretty early infrasight. Awake in my god, Prophet! He reflects that one back on Striker. The egg on San Francisco shot space there. And now Prophet looking for the rest of the breakfast. Oh, is that, uh, is that actually not even uh, might have been violent. Striker shot? I think it was Violet uh, directed right back to where Striker's dead. So uh, quite unfortunate for Striker. Didn't even look like he was aiming at uh, Prophet. Soul Dynasty, all of a sudden, invigorated. Look, full of life, the San Francisco shop. They're the ones that are being forced to try and come up with an answer to all of this, and there is a Dragon Blade for Profit. No accompanying Nano Boost ready for it yet. We've seen what's called Angry Dragon Blade in the past. Like the, uh, the Dynasty try not to take a risk there. There's a trade-in kill. Profit for Striker. Tough to get a res on the Genji. He's always far forward, but that one was in friendly territory. These are be brought back. And you expect the Nano Blade when Creative gets this Nano. There it is. One down, Prophet two. And now Prophet with just a swipe takes him out. The no support ult now for San Francisco. Striker will switch over to the Hanzo here, so you'll ditch the Ash. The Soul Dynasty, they pull out all the stops the last two maps. They go to Hanamura, which uh, just seemed like a crazy pick. They end up winning that. They win the Shocks map pick here. Uh, they are right back in it in a big way. They will have taken all of the wind out of the stock sails here. It's the second big gambit for the Dynasty in as many maps and paying off so far. Super's going to be healed up briefly and Violet's going to be able to return to the fray and mock for. Uh, now Gesture is starting to connect with these hooks, get these pickoffs. I like how we saw Super earlier on. Uh, really control. And this is going to be almost impossible, bitch. San Francisco, 20 seconds on the clock. No ultimates across the board. Walking right into a nano blade from Prophet. Prophet licking his lips and sharpening the blade. Huge accretion on the high ground. That's going to rattle Striker. Still, there'll be some time for San Francisco to set up and have nano boost now. Striker. Oh my god! Super gets the hook. It's traded out though. Now on the card, it's going to be the accretion over towards Jester. And Fitz is going to sit in the background. Finds a shot towards Striker that has to get out of line of sight. But overtime is picking down. And Jester was there with the whole hook. And it's not enough to stop the shot. Big Bionic Grenade. A huge one from Creative. I can't believe he's come back and managed to take this over. The honor play is filthy. And the Dynasty get a second map. This is a match. And yeah, the shock, they ditch the whole other uh, Roadhog again. Uh, they, they did it a, a little bit on the first one. Actually, they played Super on the first one. They played Hog with the ball. Uh, this time they played Shoi on the Sigma, but they also played the ball. So uh, they play the Wrecking Ball with the Tracer here to try and pressure the back line. And look at this. Soul Dynasty, they just try and push straight on through. They get joy, but they lose everybody else. Yeah, still wrap from the backside was there for the San Francisco Shock. It was a very nice dynamite placement they got through Joven. But the rest of San Francisco had already gone for a flank. That play was pulled off on an absolute dime, and the Dynasty were not ready. And they'll give up Troy's life to be able to take out you know, one or two players in the back line every single time. Uh, you can double back and res. Uh, you see just the amount of pressure, right? The, the shots from Striker off to the side, the wrecking ball damage. And this just opens up so many angles for Ons. Striker's still in the mix, though. Even after losing to a Goven, the shield's gone for the San Francisco shot. But Striker would rather use the sword. Violet gives Marvel a Cossack kick in the bread basket. And the San Francisco Shock want to brawl. You can see that clearly. And they already hold the points, so they don't care how long these fights go now. Prevent the disruption coming on through. Wrecking Ball, once he gets hacked, not a lot he can do. Uh, see, if you're able to get a hack onto this Wrecking Ball, stop him from coming into your back line. They almost want to try and force San Francisco Shock to switch to the Roadhog. Because uh, you do think that if, if the Shock were going to play Roadhog consistently, they would have loved to have Super in the game. That was kind of my problem. He notices what's happening. Oh, my Marvel interrupts and resurrects and gets the kill on Morph. And the Soul Dynasty will be able to take the point as the hack on the strike. That means he can't recall. I think if you're the Shock. 
bit longer. You also have a minefield here. A fifth is going to be able to build up towards the ZMP rather quickly. Smurf takes a bunch of damage, forced to back away for a moment. Okay, Marvel Pappy just catches into a go from Tardy Gobinic Flux, and look at the wraparound there from Gesture. Ready with open arms to catch Strigobin as he lands. Uh, you know, they use the Gravitic Flux, you can hold on your EMP here. San Francisco may end up just kind of like walking in here, baiting it out. So this will be the EMP from Fitz. That comes out, a lot of damage early on to Gesture by the looks of things there, but Fitz, big EMP, exactly what the shock needed. And the Valkyrie was even expended there by San Francisco. Maybe a glimmer of belief that they could still win despite having their abilities taken away. On the shock work with you, not a lot of combo mechanics. Trick open tax here, Fitz is going to harass him, and oh, is there going to be help? Yes, another pincer move. Jester taken down by a pulse bomb, and Prophet and Smurf both go by the wayside. And amidst the fight, Strike is able to take the point back. That is a huge fact that cannot be overlooked. Now the shock is control, and they can stall out a fight or go for the throat here. Smurf trying to push in, Violet gets taken down, and the Dynamite deals with Mock. 98% in counting, Smurf goes down, Trick open stalls for 99, and that's what the shock will have to work with for the next fight. Yeah, and you look at these hacks from Fitz, right? Boat tanks drop to the point. He gets a hack on the Smurf. They do him. Joy drops down. They get another hack. Now you're able to deal with Joy Hoven. So this is going to be really bad for San Francisco. It's EMP plus Bob. They're walking into bears and EMP. They only get Smurf. They're not able to finish it off. So actually kind of uh, plays out pretty well for San Francisco. They just lose Violet. That is not a kill. And Gesture Falls just kind of running on him. Not a kill that the Dynasty could afford to give up now. Bob hits the point. He can't contest. The walls are down, but I think that was a risk that Arms just wanted to take. He's going to find Profit anyway. He's happy with a clearer shot. Profit's going to be brought back into the fight. He but Arms had already found Fitz. Sombra is down. Proper, what can he do in the absence of his other DPS player? There's an Anibus here from Creative and a Biotic Grade Grenade to potentially shut down his Transcendence from Violet, but Creative saves it. As Marvel goes over the edge, Bob though, what timing from Prophet. It keeps the port stalled out, stalled out for a little while and allows the Dynasty to play in from the outside. But Creative is down. Strike has a pulse bomb. He's going to be looking for the enemy mercy here. Can he let this one go? Moth is removed. Trying to fly towards the point. It's Toby now to keep things going. But over time, he's picking down. And the Dynasty, nowhere to be seen. Yeah. So, they'll be fits on the Sombra again, so they make this adjustment straight away. Uh, they know that you'll have Smurf playing the Wrecking Ball here. Uh, you're going to have Fitz play the Sombra. Try and make it even harder for the Shock players to access the back line. That's the early kick. Uh, Fitz has started to feel the Sombra, even if it didn't quite get the Dynasty across the line in that last round. If nothing else, just to make Smurf just a little more wary. That hook from Jesse fits in the other day. Violet's lucky to be given a stay of execution. Shocker on the point though, that's where they want to be, and Prophet's down! Let Violet live and he will come back with a vengeance! See another massive damage out there from Marvel as well, but uh, they'll deal with Smurf. This will be the point to the San Francisco Shock. And, uh, you see Toby just barely trying to hang on for life. Creative healing him up. Both teams. Prophet just kind of watching his side angles, waiting for Striker or Smurf to come on in. They're also Big waiting bomb. for Fitz to try and make a play. He can't catch Creative! He's able to get away! Recall there, Creative tries to sleep dart and doesn't quite connect, even with the healing of Toby. They can't keep the honor alive, and this is where the San Francisco Shock look to pounce. Bob gets the Valkyrie off, even with the EMP in play. They've lost Violet, but they've still got plenty to work with, and yeah, it's blast the time. Trick open, probably prefers that Bob give him healing, and he gets it. Use the res as well to cement the fight for San Francisco. And creative shut down his transcendence. Trigger wants to go for an early gravitic flux. This is what happened to him actually on Mecha Base earlier on. This time though, the shot can't find that early kill on the signal, but once more creative is being hunted by Striker. And the bait is there. Prop against the headshot gets rid of the traitor. And the shocker only works with five players. That's gonna be hard for Bob to resurrect as well. I think they just wait for him to return. And... Oh Prophet! Are you kidding me? Four kills, three headshots, and no San Francisco players to be found. Pulse bomb doesn't connect for Striker. It was definitely wishful thinking to try and catch Prophet there, rather than nimble the ashes with the coach gun. Prophet is back to business, looking for a pick here. Gesture will body block most of that damage. Makes a better door than a window, that's for sure. Smurf is taken down by the hack. That's the Sombra at play, Matt. 
Is there any hero that Prophet cannot play at the highest level? But you don't really kind of consider him like somebody who plays a ton of the long range. Heroes never die. So the way he's played Asher today, he can definitely hang with the best. Got very unique traits, uh, something that Flesa also shares with him. Something that San Francisco need to make substitutions to even really match. That EMP though didn't quite find the mark for Fitz. Still, Prophet is a safe off angle. Marvel's on the point. Resurrect for Striker here. It looks like the, the Shock want to try and double down on this fight, but Prophet killing on top of the drop. He's safe. Lance is not going to be able to get anything going here on this point. They just denied so many angles, and then also with the Sombra. Last chance to for both these teams, and the Dynasty want to keep afloat in this map. Prophet a long way from Bob here. It's really going to just be the Valkyrie that the Dynasty rely on, and Marvel's into this corridor. That's the Valkyrie that's not enough to save Marvel. Maybe your Rez will get him back in the fight. No one's really paying attention to Prophet right now, and he gets rid of Choi Dovin. A massive pick, but the shot have the point, and eventually Prophet will have to step up, stand, and deliver. Choi Dovin. Yeah, he's returned. One more hit. Prophet just needs a little bit more damage to get the bomb to stall this out, but Arn puts it to bed, and Toby in mid-air! It's skeet shooting for Arn, a day in the range, and San Francisco get their third map. That'll bring up match points. Thing. I mean, and it's pretty hard to argue that he's maybe one of the greatest players he's honestly ever touched the game of Overwatch. The shot, though, they're the one that wants to walk away with uh, a trophy as well, of course, and Arn go up for an early grapple. Six, nothing. Toby's down early. That's not what the uh, Dynasty are looking for at all. It's traded out at the very least. And great save by Gesture. Soul Dynasty able to recover. Three minutes and 11, so that cost him about 50 seconds of shock. And Prophet there's fixed up his position now. Soon gets hit with McCreeson. Striker somehow coach gunning himself up to try to find the 180. It's Jester that's gone down though. Super's been effective at shutting the enemy Roadhog down, but he was clinging on to life himself. But with Creative gone, man, how did the Dynasty fight back here? They've done the hard part. Uh, they get through the choke. Uh, it, it's going to be almost impossible for the Dynasty to fight back as Marvel uses the Gravitic Flux. He will get taken out. Oh, got a few more players here left alive as uh, Toby will get hooked in by Super. But if you're, like I mentioned, if you're not able to hold that choke with the Farah, you're not going to get a win with it. San Francisco, they push right in. They're able to get control of the choke. They push the Farah out. They're able to get the payload. And what do you make of this? Prophet hasn't switched off the Farah yet. I feel like you're going to have to. Especially this part of the map. Uh, you know, there's not really like a, a huge there choke that you can hold down. Uh, but, uh, yep, he'll go over to the Hanzo. So the Hanzo to control that high ground. And this part of the map seems so hard to break for attackers here. Marvel goes low, but's able to save himself with the kinetic grasp. And how do you get the Dynasty off the high ground if you're San Francisco? Like maybe a lucky hook, maybe you force them down, but Fitz tries to pick on Striker. There's just no shielding for San Francisco. You know, me and, uh, me and Josh and uh, Bring were watching the game the other day, and I feel like this is one of the hardest positions to get past when these teams can control that high ground. You almost have to have somebody like almost like the Shaka doing right now move the card. Self-destruct from Joy over the top, maybe just trying to buy some space, he connects to Toby. That is magnificent, really, just to try and open up some space. He gets the enemy Mercy, but it's Jets from Prophet, the dynamic duo, stepping up! No way! Prophet finds Striker there in the backside, and now Super is a little tentative about whether he wants to come forward. Prophet uh, he, still he rules the skies. Uh, oh, no. He's going to be able to, is a, a beautiful hook there from Super. And all he needs to do is just get this card around the corner, right? Deny some of that high ground up by the bridge. Excellent from San Francisco, able to break it. They have to use just about everything to be able to do it, though. We saw the Dynasty, though, this part of the map towards the end. They really showed up and slowed the shock down once more. Gesture's going to hold the corner here, and you can see the shield delivered. Trick over to stand up there, a striker play for the high grab, but sees nothing, and that's a crucial kill. When it counts, Gesture finds it. Marvel will follow up here with the Gravitic Flux, and this should just drag out the fight nicely for the Dynasty. Give themselves plenty of time to work with, ideally. You're okay with this if you're the shot. Uh, you, know, you have a decent amount of time. And look, they're just throwing in ults. They do Gravitic Flux, Dragon. Uh, you're, you're okay. With that. I mean, you came in with relatively nothing for San Francisco. Uh, you know, you get in, you do a, a, a little bit of damage, you get them to expel some ults. Now you come back to fight again. The uh, the bad part is, we'll see what Soul Dynasty decides to do. Yeah, no, this will be the bad part. Uh, they they want to take this high ground yet again. They know how strong this roof is. This is huge for the Dynasty. Fantastic presence of mind to know that this is where they need to be. On top of the saloon, they reclaim this hard fought territory. But the shop had to go and do it again. Incredible widow play from both sides. 
Violet Prophet both fall, but it's definitely the Dynasty who get the better end of that trade. Let's see what the reses look like. Super are somehow find, able to find a hook on Toby. Jess is mad. Big Brother comes to the rescue. Yeah, so what the Shark decided to do is, instead of trying to fight that high ground, just get up towards it and move it with another headshot. Uh, they try and send players down towards the point that just put pressure on the cart and draw them back. Uh, it was really when on sort of a little bit quiet, a little bit cold, and Fitz was able to really heat up. Bad sign for the San Francisco Shock if we start seeing that again. Yep, this is not nearly as smooth as it was earlier for San Francisco. Every time they find a kill, Jessia is there to respond. Whole Hoggy couldn't get away from him, but Fitz is having to get rid of Moth and Macrovitic Flux despite not connecting on anyone. Violet is cracked. He's out of his mind. He finds Fitz. Maybe some more pressure on Toby here. He's got the blast around and one HP! Violet the Dead Devil, the evil Knievel of Overwatch, gets away with such audacity. Should not be allowed. <laughs> How many Zens do you see go up to that position? None! Oh, none of them are alone. None of them are remotely as psycho as Violet is. Uh, oh no. No uh, Sigma or any type of protection up there uh, takes out the Widow. He's got a Mercy pocket uh, and, and then takes out the Mercy as well. Uh, just a wild play from Violet. But look, talking to our resident Widow expert, the Brito maker, uh, rest in peace. He mentioned that it's, it's hard to hit the Zen with that, that sort of left-right straight move. Even when you, you're, you're boosted by a Mercy, it doesn't mean the shots are easy to hit. I mean, that's incredible. Presence of mind. What a sleek striker, though. Will be sat on. That's not going to be enough. Troy tried to protect him, but the Dragon Strike shot him up. But overall, though, this is a pretty good defense for the Soul Dynasty. Uh, they, they, you can get a hold here. You have Infrasight. You have Whole Hog and the Nano Boost. So you get a hold here. It's all you have to do for Soul is just to, to, to not let them finish the map. Gives yourself a really good shot here going into their offense. Right, that's all it took with Hanamura, and they really followed up after that. Finished Gibraltar. Didn't have to play the rest of the map. Soul looks so good there. And they've got everything they need right now. Up to San Francisco. The onus is on them to challenge and answer. I mean, a ridiculous headshot on Fitz. I don't even know how he finds those. A resurrect might be required. It's going to be a good bit of Super can't be protected because he's hit with another biotic grenade from Creative, causing so many problems for the back line of the shock. Is this Ana? And now the shock will be chased on out. A minute and seven remains. I see his use of the biotic grenade. Fitz hold on to the Infrasight. So, go have Infrasight here. Big advantage with the Gravitic blocks. Possibly a dragon to combo with it. Soul Dynasty in a perfect position to get a defensive hold before that third point. Infrasight. Big for Fitz. Required now as the Sonic Arrow does all that work on a shorter cooldown. Gravitic Flux for Super. He is in trouble. He's got out of it. His marble will not be denied. A little bit of outplay from Mock here. He thought about it. Risky though. Not going to happen. No resurrect opportunity there. Super will have to walk back the old fashioned way. Still 13 seconds remain and a chance for the shock to move. They just stay cagey around the car right now and try not to give over any more casualties. But this is where the fight really begins. That's a sleep down on Jester. Is there capitalization? No, not possible. Jeff is going to pick himself back up and finally gets caught by the Dragon Strike. Prophet comes up with the goods. Fighter has to be resurrected here. Toby was boosting Prophet, but now he'll be looking for a flank kill of this Hanzo from the high ground. The shock has to go. They have to keep on the cart now, Super. God is the accretion, one comes out, and Striker with two! They find Toby Prop on the high ground, and now he gets to flank! Jester with the whole hog keeps most of the shock off the cart, but now they return. It's all orange all the time on the cart. Marvel has to step forward. Another incredible biotic grenade from Creative, but it may not be enough. That will be fit if the shoe fits, he'll wear it. And apparently the shock makes great moccasins right now. Marvel hangs on to the cart, it's just Super. Can he keep it alive? Striker comes up to Jonathan, Fitz has the off angle, let it take a breather. It's not Enough fits, you absolute monster! The dynasty hold on! Again, it's creative. He's the player I'm looking at. These biotic grenades are disrupting the shock so much. Just when they think they're safe. Just when they think they can heal up. That's when they're wrong. And they actually, the shock give up so much of this choke here. So they allow the dynasty to take the high ground. And, like on the face of it, it looks like the shock just put themselves in a weaker position. They, they were trying to uh, potentially play a little bit closer. Maybe challenge that high ground. Uh, but Violet got hit with a shot and they needed to kind of back up, make sure he was okay before kind of coming back out. Striker playing KG, they get gesture early. May still be a resurrect there. Striker goes down, so it's a trade. Now, you see Super push up here, try and take space to make that resurrect possible. San Francisco gets to take a breather here now with the Dynasty. A little deep, may get staggered if they're, if they're spotted here. Creative is 
deep in enemy territory. Uh, but uh, they're not being aggressive, the Samuels. They almost want the Soul Dynasty to kind of push on in and separate. They feel like they have a better opportunity to just kind of pick players off one by one, uh, especially playing the Zen. So now you'll see Soul Dynasty as the entire team wrap around this left-hand side. They know this is where Violet plays. This is a level of cautiousness from the shop that we just don't see very often. It's respect for the Dynasty. Fitz is able to find a big pick on Violet now. Trick open has no idea where to be looking. Super gets rid of creative though, and in the long fight, the dynasty might struggle. Prophet has to go for a hero play. Can't find a shot. Hey, hey, have a Gravitic Flux here coming in from Marvel on the other side. Valkyrie pumped here from Toby. The Gravitic Flux doesn't result in anything, and then you have Prophet dying on the backside. Gesture with a change over to Wrecking Ball. Soul Dynasty, this, this has been really odd offense though, so far. Uh, I think it's almost because the Shocker playing so passive as well. As Soul just trying to find an opening, they haven't been able to do so at all. 90 seconds left in the round. That's all that stands between Soul and a loss in this series. And a championship rendered over to the shot. They've got to find something special now. Creative is getting close to a nano boost. There is a dragon strike afoot. Uh, in for sight here for the shock, though. Uh, you're not going to push into this if you're Soul Dynasty. You have to wait this out. This will allow the dragon strike to get built up. Striker has a really good idea, obviously, after the walls and with the Sonic Arrow, where they're playing from. 60 seconds so left. What two fights in that? Gesture though, look at him. He wants it so bad. Nano boost, he ignores the dragon strike, walks on around it. He's coming for the crown. Zap back on the point. Mock goes for a Valkyrie here. Marvel's forced to turn his back on something. Cuts his flanky around the Widowmaker. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Looks like the Gravitic Flux didn't find anything in the flank from Arden. It gets a kill. Let's trade it out, though. Super's put the sleep on the point now, and it has to be a transcendence from Violet. Trichoven steps up. 30 seconds left in the round, but Fitz finds Striker crucially, and now he's the one flanking. Gesture balls to the whole Hogan Bolter's lucky to get away with his life there. Gravitic Flux makes the shot easy for Fitz, but he's only got 20 health left. Toby's down. Violet, what a huge shot across the map. But Creative times back in, and the Dynasty can move to the point. This is where they bring it back. They're creasing on towards Super. The Shock has to step away. The Dynasty, they keep it alive. They stay in the series. Oh, the Shocker, what? A, a, a kill away pretty much in that fight from winning the Overwatch League. And Soul Dynasty battles back when it matters the most. This is going to be this is going to be the hardest part of the game right here. If they can break this top setup straight away, Soul Dynasty has a chance. Uh, you know, two fights go the Shock's way up here. They're going to be way down in terms of the clock. One foul step from the Shock, though, and the Dynasty will be over them like moss on a rock, and they will be pushing that payload. They'll be taking the high ground. Still a minute and 56 left. The Dynasty have time to work with, and there it is. That's the pick on Striker. Resurrect Jess is looking for the Mercy, but he can't get to Mock in time. And that hook doesn't connect. Fitz looking for an insane pick. Troy Gerben catches him with a hyperspheres on his way down for the grapple. Yeah, they're going to use a nano boost here on the pressure. They know they need to open this up. That'll be a hook and a kill on a Choi. Can he get another one, though? Striker with one, Ants with another. Unbelievable! Not looking good for Soul. The snipers of San Francisco coming alive. The composure from Striker to face down and nano boosted Roadhog with full health. And just take a couple shots, headshots, of course and take him down at any point that could have been a hook that claimed his life. That is stone cold. And this is hard to break, Mitch, when you're playing like even the Otacom. It's almost harder now when they have the Zen up top. Because you're dealing with both of the snipers just kind of in odd positions, odd angles to the side. You can't completely ignore them. Oh, but then Violet just raining down the discords in the damage from up above with Sigma. Striker, this is risky. Super unintentionally stalling the car with his immense bulk. The Dynasty need to find something, but they're low on health, Marvel and Jesse. Yes, Toby has to pop the Valkyrie. Fitz goes down, but it may be a safe resurrect. Not with the Dragon Strike coming through. And now the Shocker trying to wrap around the backside. Violet there, charges up the oars, and Creative's head goes rolling. Transcendence is on the table for Violet. Trichoven has been removed, but still plenty to work with for the Shock. Super chases Jesse down, and 24 seconds remain. The Soul Dynasty are on their last legs. And the Shock have Infrasight here, they'll know exactly where they're coming from, they're not going to be able to push into it with ease. Whole Hog to knock them back, Transcendence as well. Everything aligning for the Shock. Soul Dynasty needs some magic here. 
fits. Magic in those hands, you better believe it. Prophet also has a Dragon Strike, it's all on the table now, and it's all for the taking. Prophet ascends to the high ground. Cart is on the move, gesture. Those people with a Discord all needs to be careful now, and that's a Gravitic Flux from Marvel. Doesn't find much here, it has to be a kinetic grasp on the way back down. Gesture falls, Toby follows. Joyko over, gonna chase him down to Marvel, and the whole hog, a victory dance for Super, oinking his way to victory. Whoever said lightning doesn't strike twice has never met the San Francisco shock. Your 2020 Overwatch League champions.